welcome John Liggett. So good to see you. Thank Such a you. pleasure. Thank you. Good morning. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for coming on the show. I know it's early, and uh, but we're, we want to hear all about the Festival of Carols. Well, thank you. This year is our 15th year, and um, you know we have a lot of interesting things this year. There's a lot of things different this year, actually. What's different about it? Well, for the first 14 years, we were on Ridge Road at Nazarene Church. That's right. Mm -hmm. And for the last three years, we've been slowly outgrowing that. Oh, okay. uh, now that I've invited some my church family from um, it's the Sacramento area and uh, Carmichael and Rockland and all these people, you know, we have like an extra 50 people. Oh wow! Singing and uh, they've been a great help, um, but with their numbers and with all the other people that come to watch them and so mm -hmm. forth, and the local people that enjoyed every year, we were just filling up Nazarene, wow. which was a lot of fun. Sure. Uh, but people were actually leaving, so this year we went to Grace Fellowship. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit bigger, yeah. and um, you know, with chairs and everything, we can get more people in. Mm -hmm. And we changed from Saturday to Sunday. Oh, that's or, good. or I should say Saturday evening, Sunday afternoon. It used to be mm -hmm. earlier in the week. Mm -hmm. p.m. Sunday Correct. at 3 p.m. And right. that's at Grace Fellowship Church. If you're not familiar with where that's at, that is at the end of Jackson on 49, heading out towards Moak Hill. Yep, Butte Store right there. Yes, The old yes. Butte City. Fabulous church, too. I mean, it's Mark an and Martha Johnson, nice they're people. awesome people. people. They pastor there, and the church is really good size. I wouldn't say it's mm -hmm. overwhelming, but you can get quite a few people in there mm -hmm. and very comfortably. And it's just, you know, they, they decorate. They make it really nice for everybody. Um, so that's going to be a good time. So tell me about the lineup for the music. Well, first let me tell you about some interviews. Okay. Now, we have done this before. Mm -hmm. um, lots of times we just have scripture and music. And sometimes we'll bring in um, people local that you know have been helped by the food bank and so forth. This year we have someone from the Philippines, one of the Philippines islands that grew up in a headhunter tribe. Wow. Of all things. How interesting, yeah. And then we have Josie Vasilovich. Mm -hmm. Evo was the barber here locally for years and years. Josie's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. She's going to tell us a little bit about when she was a child, teenager really, uh, during World War II oh. in Italy. Oh, wow. wow. And then we have... Um, Someone from Angola who grew up in the wars there during the 90s. That's incredible. And wow. so all these these th three people so far grew up in poverty and mm, poverty, but always lacking something. Mm -hmm. You know, like like people around here can be. I guess it's like 13 percent of Amador County use the food bank. That's and amazing. And they need that help. We're so we're so fortunate to have it here. Yes. But without us supporting it, you know, it, it doesn't run by itself, obviously. Yeah, there's a. It's driven by uh, volunteers, which is just amazing. And it's mm -hmm. also interesting is it's pretty much uh, community supported. Mm -hmm. I understand they do get some government food, but mm -hmm. they're not tied down by um, by that <laughs> offering and. So they can uh, they can do a lot for the community, and a lot of people participate helping them, mm -hmm. which is really neat. And I know they need turkeys. Think about that. Yeah. Turkeys, turkeys, turkeys. Turkey but musically, we have uh, a lot of interesting things. Um, when George Frederick Handel came to England mm -hmm. um, as a young man, about mid-20s, mm -hmm. he um, somehow got in with the queen there. Oh, really? Queen Anne. Uh-huh. And he wrote some music for her birthday. Oh my goodness! Wow. Now the first piece he wrote that was on the program for her birthday was this called it was called an ode, mm -hmm. and um, it was a prayer really for uh, for God to to have a luster on this special day, you know, oh, shine yeah. a luster. And that is with strings, harpsichord, solo soprano, oh. solo trumpet, Ooh. and it is just just so sweet. The miracle genius of Handel shines in this piece. Mm -hmm. It's the opening piece. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, a piece by Randall Thompson. Randall Thompson was a great American composer. Mm -hmm. Passed away now. He um, taught at several schools, including Berkeley here oh, really? in California. Wow. So and, many people um, are so blessed to have that opportunity to learn from him. Yeah, mm -hmm. he taught students like um, Irving um, Bernstein mm -hmm. of, of um, the big Boston uh, group of, and uh, New York group. Um, but he wrote a piece uh, to commemorate um, the longtime composer and, and uh, conductor of the Boston Philharmonic. Oh, really? And this was back in the 40s and 50s. He, he wrote oh. it in the 60s when he was just about ready to retire. Mm -hmm. um, they had a great uh, youth summer program back in the north part of um, uh, New York. Mm -hmm. And to commemorate that, he wrote this piece. And it's really, really and powerful. What's the name of it? 
It's called The Last Words of David. And are you, you're playing that then, obviously, the, yeah. the whole choir and the band and the yeah. orchestra. Yeah, it's a really neat piece. Wow, good. I look forward to that. That would yeah. be amazing. But we'll have the African-style group back. Oh, good. This okay. is Angolan, uh, traditional in the tongue of Angola, mm -hmm. the old tongue. Not the Portuguese, but the old tongue. They're singing. They're a lot of neat. neat. Um, the Carmichael people will come back, and they have a real Gaither-type mm -hmm. sound. Um, there's a lot of interesting other little things, too. Um, such as? Such as. <laughs> well, we have um, uh, some old hymns that I found. Uh, How Great Thou Art. Oh, that's always beautiful. Um, and this little, little piece called Jesus the Name. And um, because the orchestra is made up of um, volunteers, mm -hmm. Some professional, just one on a part, but mainly young children, mm -hmm. you know, 18 and under normally. Right. Um, you know, I have to write out the music for them so that they can do it. Because you compose it to their abilities, is that right? Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of fun. And so we, we take these old hymns, and I listen here, I listen there, so I put something together. Mm -hmm. And those have been a lot of fun for them. I think they're getting the most out of it this year as the young orchestra. Oh, and that's, that's such been. a great opportunity for them to, you know, practice performing, to play as a group. Um, and it's always interesting, I think, because when you add vocalists to orchestra, um, I mean, it's, it's double the fun, double the trouble, double the effort, you know. Would you agree? Certainly. Yeah. Uh, the choir has one unique aspect, and they have words. Mm-hmm. You know, instruments obviously don't have words, but... Mm -hmm. Boy, when you put that aspect into it, suddenly the piece makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's why we're supposed to get loud here. That's why we're supposed to get soft here. That's right. why we need, you know, attention to detail here and so forth. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is neat. And then that's that's just another um, way for people that are in the orchestra to really learn a dis different aspect because, like you said, this is their cue. Okay, we, you know, we crescendo because it's this point, and then, you know, we tone it down because someone's singing over it. And I think it's a really neat opportunity for people. Yeah, the words dictate the music, which, which makes it a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then later in December, uh, the third Saturday in December, we're going to have a similar concert, but it's going to be in the old church in Ione, oh, which is the old Methodist church. Oh, church. Yes, I've and been the in there. the acoustics are really, really great. Uh -huh. And so it's so much fun to, to sing and play in there. Mm -hmm. And so it would be fun to have people come down there. That's the third Saturday. That's November. You're invited. Thank you. Thank you. And, I look uh, forward to it. One reason why, uh, especially you, is because of all the food that will be happening there. Tell us about that, because food, people love food. Anything with food, everybody loves that. Well, last year was kind of our kickoff year, and we had a full house, and we had lots of fun. Mm -hmm. um, all the ladies and some of the men at the church I go to are really good cooks, mm -hmm. and they're really good on nutrition. It's mostly vegan. Mm -hmm. And, um, boy, they know how to do it. So each one brought something that they like to do, and they do really good. Mm -hmm. They bring the recipe, they share it. Ooh. We even had some cookbooks that were there that were really, really? good. Wow. Some really new ones, like internet type. Take a picture of the recipe or mm -hmm. that little code thing that they have on there. Oh, and really? It comes up on your phone. Oh, that is so neat. Yeah, I've seen those little codes. I forget what they call those. Yeah, but, so yeah. all these new things. Um, so that was a lot of fun. So mm -hmm. they'll be doing it again this year. It'll be the second annual. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. Um, of course, I love to cook, as you know. Yes. And, and I love vegetarian, vegan I love that kind of food. I love to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't say that I won't have a nice big juicy ribeye every once in a while and <laughs> eat my iron and protein, but, but you know, normally I'd like to eat just really, really healthy like that. So sure. I will look forward to meeting some of the chefs there oh, and yeah. hopefully make some contacts and have them on Mondays with Monique, which is our cooking show on Mondays. That would be great. And uh, kind of incorporate them into our community here. Now on the concert coming up Saturday night, mm -hmm. we'll have little light snacks at, at night, uh, desserts and, and uh, smoothies and uh, some Ooh, things like that. Oh, fancy. On Sunday, there'll actually be a meal. Oh, you're kidding. So come Saturday night to get something light and fun and, uh -huh. come, sent and come again on the next day and have uh, soups and salads. And, oh, my goodness. You know, that sounds some, amazing. Some nice... Um, entrees. Okay, so again, that is November 22nd at 7 p.m. November 23rd, that is at 3 p.m. at Grace Christian Fellowship. And is there a charge? Nope, it's free. Oh, wonderful. But so, we pass the plate for the Interfaith Food Bank. There you go. So bring your family, make a nice donation. John, thank you so much for thank being on the show us. and for getting up early. It's yeah. so good to see you. Thank you. Best thank to you. your wife and the kids. Oh, oh, just stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay.